say fuck it, might as well. I say fuck it, might as well. I love bait like a potato. <laughs> potato <laughs> would it be <laughs> baked like a potato? <laughs> Damn, it's, early, it's too early in the morning to be smoking this shit. You, your eyes already be low, mm -hmm. and then you wake up and smoke, so that make it ten times worse. And niggas go to work and do this shit. No, it's okay, crazy as hell. Bro. I mean, I have, but <laughs> it's not good. Yeah, nah, going to work. It depends on what you do. Um, That's true. And you're like, I don't know. It, you I all, can sit at the computer all day and be straight. Yeah, when when it's wearing down, you start to feel it wearing down, and your heart start coming down, and you just like, fuck, I don't feel like doing this shit no more. Dog. <laughs> I swear to done. God, bro. I can't you go can't. out and door dash high. Huh? Like, no. well, I'll be, be, be ready to go home. I'll be needing a <laughs> <the> smoke break. <laughs> I mean, for real, I swear to God. I'll be ready. All right, I'm done with this shit. Like, I'll be first, first, like, hour and a half, two hours, I'm in this bit. Do, 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 do. Riding with you know music blasting, pulling up in people neighborhoods and shit. You know what I'm saying? How long you been doing that shit? Make good money, bro. That you can, you can, bro. You can make really good money with that shit. I wonder, is it is it straight? Do you do you, is it center or straight? Look like the music. Look like it. Okay, I'm just making sure. Like yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dog, it, it's nice. It's nice money. I, I would I would recommend it to anybody with a car, especially if you're trying to do shit like pay shit off and. and Get your money right because this is such an easy gig you like you don't have nobody in your car you, you they don't have no regulations on like i swear to god order order doordash one time and they said a nigga was delivering it on the bike now i don't know if that meant a motorcycle <laughs> a bicycle but the, they said a bike so that means if you got a you if you got a scooter a motorized scooter you can probably do yeah, some doordash i swear to god bro it's man Anybody with a car, it don't matter. You don't have no regulations. They ain't gotta have to do checkups on your car like you gotta do for Lyft and Uber. My thing was, how do you get? I know how you get. You get paid off tips though. But like, um, is, it, is it worth? Is it worth going out there and running for like what two hours round, three hours round? You gotta you gotta pick your pick your deliveries wisely. You gotta look at the mileage and how much money you got because it's okay to de like deny that shit. Like fuck no, I ain't finna go drive. All the way out here to, to, to deliver no bitch meal for three dollars. <laughs> no, like, and she ain't gonna tip. Man, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, on that tip, Not, bro. Yeah, bro. That's that's really where the money come from, and I'm I ain't gonna. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what. But, but people do tip though. But it, at if you catch it Saturday nights like prime time, where they doing four dollars, three dollars plus plus what you get. What do you get from them? Though? That's what I'm saying. I, I'm thinking it's just the tips. No, it's not the tips. You get it depends like your mileage. Your it, it's it depends on the order. The the bigger the order, the more money you're gonna make. The bigger the more the bigger the order, and the okay. the farther you drive, the more money you're gonna make. That if they getting little two dollar like a, a McChicken in a in a small <laughs> fry from McDonald's and shit, you you gonna get three dollars. <laughs> well, go get yeah, God, goddamn. You my man. Sale. That's what I'm saying, bro. So, I, that's, that's why I said it's it's all in how you pick your orders. And, and you know what I'm saying? If, if it's gonna be three dollars, and I know these niggas probably ain't gonna tip, deny. Fuck that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I ain't finna keep, bruh. Cause it's, it's gas. It's like it's like a it's literally a chess match when you out there. Like, cause you trying to you trying to maximize every single mile that that you that you can. Like the money per mile. That's yeah. that's how I look at it. That's how you're supposed to look at it. So, exactly. That makes sense to me. So yeah, it sounds like a good side gig. Though. It definitely is, and like listening to podcasts and shit, Dave Ramsey. So people, yeah, yeah I door dashed and after work and for five, six, seven hours. Yeah, I'm like, bro, damn, I don't see how people do that, bro. Five, like, three, six, seven hours. God damn, Jermaine. <laughs> Jermaine called, but but luckily, see, it didn't even fuck up the phone. That's dope. That. Bro, you remember when they used to fuck us up? Every time. Every goddamn time, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'll call him. I'll call that nigga back. But um, he oh he always it's like he always know when I'm doing him or some shit because he always just pop up. That's my dog. Though. He call me every day. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, dog. Um, oh, I want to get back to being you being the girl dad, bro. Cause I don't know if we ever talked about that. Have we talked about that? We have, but it was it was probably like way way like it was pre coronavirus, it, yeah. pre coronavirus, and pre <laughs> the new car conversation. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I don't think we got. I don't even think I got that shit. Like, 
I, 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 I lost two phones with all my shit on it. Broke one, <laughs> lost the other. It ain't on the two. No, oh, I was about to say that. <laughs> man, <laughs> man, man, man. Which tube? <laughs> Which tube? What you talking about? You see, look, I watch, I watch. Yeah, I watch too much. I watch, yeah, I watch too much. Pics. I get it, bro. Yeah. I understand. Pick it a pat. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, like I don't know, bro. I just I, like I was saying, I guess before we started recording, I couldn't, I can't do that shit because I just can't deal with the attitudes and. I, you you know how I talk. You you me as a person. Do you see me actually no. being a, a little girl's daddy, bro? Your little girl would probably be a thought. <laughs> That's what I'm. I can't, bro. I can't raise no thoughts, bro. I can't do it. That's hilarious. I, I, I probably would soften. I, I probably would. I don't know. I probably change, like change up the whole. My whole. I probably become a born again Christian, like a re, reborn again Christian. I don't see it at all. If I have a girl, you, so you see my girl out there getting fucked in the bathroom at school. That's what, that's what, that's what, that's what you're saying. Cause that, that, that's what I'm hearing. If I have a daughter, she's going to get fucked in the bathroom. No, I ain't going to say that. I'm not going to wish that on you. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, but I'm not going to wish that on you. I don't know, I take bro. It back. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to have a, uh, if I had a girl, I would have to have a strong. She's hurt my feelings. Hold on, wait a minute. Cause... <coughs> Look. <laughs> Right now, it's a reality for you. Now, I don't see Janaya, uh, because that she mean, <laughs> and I love it. Yeah, <laughs> but you know it. what I'm saying. So, <laughs> I'm about to see me. yeah, you, I, I think she, she'll be all right. Mm -hmm. But what, what's your favorite thing about it? Uh, bro, I don't know. I, I would say it made me, it made me have a lot more patience. It gave me a lot more patience. Um, mm -hmm. it made me a lot softer too. Cause you know how we grew up, we that that wasn't it. But yeah, it made me it made me a lot softer. I would say, um, yeah. Mm. I guess so. I just like I said, I can't see myself doing it, bro. Like I I don't know. Like I'm fine with my boys, and I be throwing Jaren ass all over the bed, kick him in the nuts and shit. I mean, but girls like that stuff too. Well, I don't kick him in the nuts, but. <laughs> I mean, girls like that stuff too. Like Janine, she like to get tossed up in the air. Yeah, you know I'm talking about. Saying? But you don't want to go out like, and wrestle, wrestle with, with, yeah, wrestling and that's something she won't do. Yeah, she ain't gonna wrestle. She yeah, you feel me? I can't, I, I can't, I can be. Hey, baby. Oh, baby, I can't. <laughs> hey, baby, be coddling and shit, man. I ain't, I don't even do that. I, I, I don't know. I just, it's hard for me to do that. It's your personality, bro. It's not. It's just you, your personality. It's all right. What you a debt collector, right? Don't you call people? <laughs> yeah, this nigga, kid. hey, That's if you hear this nigga on your phone, he probably be on some of y'all voicemails. Hey, this is Jason Henry calling with Citibank. Um, y'all know that long ass thing, they cause I they be calling my ass. Well, not no more because I be paying my shit now. Good. I be uh I'm, how you supposed to do my, my shit. We calling you for a reason. Yeah. You yeah. don't want your it's shit. Not, it's not it's not like you don't owe the money. Pay them fucking people. <laughs> yes, sir. You took that money out. You took that card. Yeah. You signed that uh, name on the dotted line. I damn sure did. And going to pay that money. And back. They, it be making me mad. Like fuck these niggas calling me again. Eight four four, whatever that. Yeah, you know the number. You know what time it is. Yeah, I already know who it is calling me. So you got to cut out the city bank. So what's <laughs> um, what's the biggest thing you see? Like, cause I don't know if you have. I don't. I don't really know the the. But what's the biggest thing you see? Like. On people debts, like, do you see actually people debts, or do you see you just see the amount? The amount. Most part. Oh, I think okay. the most thing people just first of all, what's going on right now? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people losing their jobs, all that stuff so, like that. Um, they out of work, they can't work, or they income done been reduced right. significantly. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's one of the biggest things that's going on right now. Of course, um, another thing is people really just don't know. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You be saying they um, be having what? 30k on their debt sometimes on their card they no they sign up for another one that's crazy <laughs> and they give it to them because they know they know that's the bro, bro that's how they make their money it is are they really making money like that and people don't pay it back though how does that work i don't know exactly how it works but that's what i'm seeing hmm no nah. i know if you don't pay it off in a certain amount of time they charge it off it goes to the third party collections agencies um, hell, I done been through it, shit, so I mean Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah I, know, I know the steps Yeah, but so, 
as long as you doing better, man, shit, with your, cause how, what made you get to the point where you, where you, where you was just like, man, fuck this shit, I'ma just go ahead and get my shit together, get my money together, get my mind set together when they come to this money. Just trying to, um, I'm trying to do different stuff, bro. I listen to different people on YouTube, on podcasts, not really listening to music, you know what I'm saying? Kind of putting the game down a little bit, um, just listening to different people. Also, um, just want to do better, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get into real estate now, real estate, um, For sure. you know, investing in rental homes, most of family, single family, things of that nature. And um, you take money, shoot. Yeah, <laughs> it takes a whole different mindset it to do that type discipline. of stuff. It, it, exactly, it takes discipline. So that's um, that's what I would say make me change my mindset a little bit, man. Uh, it's just I, I feel like at a certain point you just want better for yourself. That's true too. Growing up, we got these kids, man. We got to do better for these kids too. Yeah. You want something that you can pass down to your kids. Yeah. I want something that I can pass down to my for kids. Sure. I speak for myself. Man, so everybody um, talking about goddamn, you know, I guess. Whatever wealth, um, generational. Gen wealth. There you go. You you said it. Gen generational. Wealth. Yeah. Everybody mm -hmm. talk about generational wealth and like when you when you listen to these people, the you know what I'm saying. You see that regular people like us who ain't make it in sports, who ain't make it in mm -hmm. whatever they you. It's obtainable. You can Definitely get it, but it's it's a mindset when it comes to that. It thing. is, That's and then you see the people in sports who fumble over their money. You know what fumble I'm saying? The fumble the goddamn bag, bro. <laughs> I'm below it. Yeah, you get because they don't know what to do with it. That's what I'm saying. Jamarcus Russell get a damn the <laughs> biggest signing bonus in history. Fumble the bag. I'm saying. So that's what that's what I guess kind of I don't know kind of drove me mad. Yeah, it's, it's trying to do better by my money. Yeah. Um, financial independence, financial literacy, that type of stuff. Yeah, I think what drove me was just like I like I said, just wanting different for myself. No, just like you you see everything is just. Uh, I want this. I want that. <laughs> I want this. And then you look at your, at your pockets and you like, my pockets. But the good thing about it is you can have it, bro. You just have to budget that cash. There you go. You and, got to budget that cash right. And then when you listening to people that have the same mindset and, and that are going through the same things that exactly. you're going through, it really helps you kind of like hone in on your mistakes and kind of like, yeah. you know, learn, learn, learn from... The, the shit that you know that oh, people, other people going through a boot in the ass bro that's all we need all we need and, and i feel like it come at different times for other people mm -hmm. i feel like i should have been doing this like well, i should have you know what i'm saying we all should have been i mean that's i mean that's, that's when you get it you like damn i should have been doing yeah it. I I, yeah, yeah. Know, <laughs> but i mean if you don't know then you know what i'm you saying you don't know what you don't know yeah but um, when you get that bitch, it's about applying it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and so, not half assing it. I yeah. think, I think, um, once your mind, once your mind is made up, then, like, like, like Dave Ramsey say, like, what was that thing that made you just, you know, it's either, it's either, I guess, what, what Anthony, what Anthony, um, what, what, what O'Neill was saying, this, the hot, the why make you cry. Mm -hmm. For real, I didn't cry about this shit. Like I really <laughs> want better for myself, and, yeah. and like after that, after you had that, I mean, and you gotta really, really sit down and have a realistic, and, and, you know, talk with yourself and evaluate your shit, bro. Right. Like, really, be real with yourself. That's what I had to do. Like, nigga, you just be eating out too much, nigga. Just that's my thing, bro. I can't. Like, nigga, it's hard not to, bitch. I don't want to cook. <laughs> I don't want to cook, bro. Right. I don't. I don't That's feel like thing, it. Man. I've been at work. Uh, my feet hurt. I don't want to cook. Fuck you. Right. That's so I'm going to go get thing. me some Mac. The Mac Donald. But you got to see meal planning and stuff that out, bro. You mm -hmm. get somebody. Well, not get somebody, but do your meal planning. Um, that go along with budgeting. Budgeting for groceries, bro. Yeah. Go grocery shopping. There'll be stuff in, your, stuff in your fridge you can cook real quick. Mm -hmm. Or, hell, yeah, cook it the day before. I used to cook my stuff the day before. Yeah. Get easy uh, shit like hamburger helping... Help her. Well, that should be good. Hey, man. you balling on the budget, bro. You trying to save money. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I got it. I got it. I done ate chicken for a week. I cooked chicken on Monday. Ate that bit for a week. 
<laughs> that shit better have been good. It was good. No. Damn. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, do. after a week, I know that shit ain't good no more. Cause niggas don't even be want to eat. I don't even be want to eat Thanksgiving leftover. So I know eating chicken for and I mean I be hearing them talking about rice and beans and man, how y'all sitting it. there eating that? I can't, bro. I would have to find something cheap that I could really eat but all it, the time. It's stuff out there though, but you just gotta look. People got cookbooks and stuff like that. What, what, what a bottle on the budget cookbooks? I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen a bottle on the yes. budget cookbook. Yeah. But I just seen cookbooks. You know what I'm saying? Stuff that yeah. you can meal plan out. Um, stuff that you can cook that's real quick. Chicken is always like chicken the is always cheap. the option, baby. It's cheap, yeah. What What else would you prefer? Like, like what else would you say? Like a cheap meals for people that's trying to save money and, and ball on the budget. Throw some spaghetti on. That's spaghetti. Mm -hmm. That's spaghetti's boy. Spaghetti on, um, Alfredo. Uh, Alfredo, yeah, man. That's nah. I mean, yeah. I would say so. Yeah, yeah. depending on how you cook it. Some people make this stuff. Well, I don't know. I don't, I'm not an Alfredo maker anymore. I don't. Know. So, you buy? Well, I would say so. Yeah, the noodles, the chicken. You can buy some chicken breasts. People make their sauce too, so I guess if it's cheap that way, well, you can make it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, shit. You got condiments, or, or you can just. Buy the ragu. Shit, this shit ain't expensive. Yeah. It's like three bucks, four bucks. Get yourself some lunch food, some ham sandwiches. And ham, shit. yeah, yeah. Peanut butter jelly sandwiches. Some fruit for the people who don't like ham and pork. Mm, pork and, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the meat lovers. Vienna sausages. <laughs> Ooh. You don't, like, you don't like Vienna sausages? No, bro. Ooh, the bitches be them Ooh. Some nasty. Oh, It tastes God. like can. No, that's that's a good ass can right that's there. Disgusting. That can good. I can't do it no more. Um, I be sardines. I don't eat that shit, but like I be seeing little can stuff, sardines, and what, I don't know what y'all like in the cans, but soup. <laughs> shit, I'm gonna go down the grocery aisle on y'all. Like yeah, for real. But <laughs> those good meals. I don't know what else though. Like, I don't know. So I don't see what's the point of doing that. I, I heard Dave when he was like, "Yeah, with that well, you don't." Be all the way here and buying buying rental properties there for what? Like, I, I, I understand it. Just is is if you're trying to expand your portfolio, if you're trying to, uh, I guess, make money. Then yeah, I mean, real estate's everywhere. Real estate's not just in the backyard. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it makes sense to me. But then you got to pay people to keep up with it. And That's just, the only thing. I mean, know. but yeah, but I mean, if it if it makes sense for your pockets, you know what I'm saying? Go for it. If it's gonna make you good money, go for it. Why not invest in other markets, especially if the housing is cheaper, bro? Well, if you find like a something cheaper in somebody, yeah, bro. I say go for it. That's just like investing in the stock market. You don't know what the fuck. You don't know where where the fucking Wall Street address is. Yeah, but they doing that shit. I have to, I have to look more into that. Like get somebody <laughs> to actually teach me and sit down and talk to me about that shit. Oh yeah, get somebody to sit down and talk to you. Yeah. You wanna do self study? Like what YouTube? YouTube, books. yeah, I, I could, I could do self study. That that would probably that's that would probably really be my 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 normal route is mm -hmm. self study. That's how I got into, you know, camera and just asking around. Yeah. Like I, I asked that dude on Facebook the other day, like, hey, shit, I see you you, you nice with the videos, like, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Hey, what camera do you use? And he was nice enough to, to hey, get this, and if your money good, get this. Yeah. And I was like, shit, bet. So he gave me a range and I started looking up cameras. Now I'm looking up bundles and shit and now I'm saving. Cause that's my, my plan is to first get my camera so that can be a source of income, my camera and all my gear so that can be a source of income while I'm building towards being debt free. So I'm gonna get the camera first, boom, and then start. Well, I'm still, I really don't have a, a lot of debt technically like smacking the debt as i'm i ain't attacking it but i'm smacking it you should be you feel me yeah you should be smacking and attacking well yeah, smack, yeah. smacking it I, I could yeah i, I really i could if, if you could but if you can i say do that shit only because the faster you get out the more the more of your income you can use for yourself the quicker you do that shit like the more money you can have in your pocket going forward if you like if you like lollygat with that shit can't, but that's a good way to look at it though like live live 
like this for the moment. Live below your means for the moment. So just that for a moment, just for a little bit. And man. it ain't gonna be a long time. People probably, they be smacking so much debt in such a small amount of time. Like, and it make you realize like, damn, I can really, I can really buckle down and do this shit. Yeah. Exactly. So I think I'm gonna, yeah, damn Jason. But yeah, you right though. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But how, how, yeah, I know it probably wouldn't take me that long to um, see. But I'm definitely gonna get back into the gym. I gotta get healthy, bro. Me too. I got I got a gym membership, but I do not go. I wake up every morning like at four, bro. I need to get my ass up and bro, go. Bro, I'm I'm up every morning like at four and like off the strength of just being not being able to sleep past that. I don't know why it's been like that since the whole month of January. I'm saying, bro. I just get up, but I get up. Now I got got some weed. I get up, smoke, and I hell he'd be up within two hours. So I mean that time instead of me smoking or smoke and go to the gym, shit, really. Got to pre roll that thing the night before. Yeah, pre roll that thing the night before. Go to the gym, smoke on the way to the gym. Go to the gym, get pump that shit out. That shit be bro. I'm telling you, working out high, and and that that shit motivation. That shit. <laughs> get some music going, you be <laughs> throwing away. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you, uh, but it's that shit a mindset too. I need that, bro. If you go, if you got a, if you got a, a guest pass, I go with you, bro. I, I really like want to get my body right because yeah. I feel like if I keep on this Instagram shit, I can get some some acting. I gotta get my shit right too. Some acting and modeling opportunities. You know I gotta get saying? my shit right because I got a fucking gut. And every time I walk by there, I don't like that shit. That's why I gotta get my shit right. I and mean, that's fine as long as you. That's your why, shit. But it's it's you know it don't honestly it don't take long if you buckle just like that that really shit don't. it don't take long if you buckle down bro you can see results like mm -hmm. six weeks soon as that yeah for sure you just gotta shit what's yeah, up dude. I'll work your ass now no no I mean you know I'm, we're brothers. I get in I'll be honest I get in there for about forty five minutes I go that's all you need I hit like machine I maybe do three sets or fifteen or whatever whatever you know what I'm saying because I ain't trying to be buff. Nah, nah, you throw, throw, bro, this is what you do. Throw like, throw like a, a, a plate on each side and rep out every time. Yeah. And for like three, four sets, just rep out. Get like, or, or just do like till you get to 20 mm -hmm. or something like that. That's, that's what I was doing. And I was getting like cut and everything I was doing was just for reps. Nothing was for, I don't do no heavy, nah, that Did heavy weight college shit. college or when you was Nah, here? when I started working out here oh, okay. like everything is especially like after five school when i used to get out of we used to work out do pt in the morning and i would stay after and do my own and, and do my own shit after okay. and i was getting like uh, i was getting <laughs> i'm telling you boy but like and i was getting cut so everything is wrapped i don't do no heavy weight because my elbows and my knees all my joints fucked up from from all the heavy weight doing in college and shit and really not taking care of my body like i should have been after after um because I, I was post acl but then like you know after that i stopped going getting in the cold tub all the time when it wasn't mandatory you know what i'm saying now nah, like i be hurting and shit <laughs> uh, that boy if you, no, if you play sports bro get in that fucking cold tub for five it's five minutes bro oh uh, if i if i can bro bro and that shit was cold and my toenails would be like oh my god God, bro. <laughs> I can't imagine that. My toenail, oh, bro. Yeah. And they had a jacuzzi. Like, I don't know if you ever been back there in that sports medicine, mm -hmm. bro. They had a, like a jacuzzi cold tub, like, with, with, with fucking, I think it had jets in it to make it colder. Like, yeah, that shit was cold. But what does that do? Though? But see. it, it, you know, ice, you know, oh, yeah, yeah ice right. is your body. Yeah. Shit, get the freezes and muscles, get, you know, get them, get them right, regenerate. That All shit, that shit, yeah. that's crazy. Hell yeah, bro. And it, and it 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 works. You feel so good after you get out of that shit. I ain't gonna lie. But like this. Mm -hmm. boy, <laughs> meet meet me on shrimp shrimp that's not crazy. a shrimp Alfredo in that bit. But shit, that shit help. I, I miss that shit a little bit, but not really. I just miss the boys sometimes. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> I be th I be thinking about all the shit, you know, all the parties. We man, that shit was so cool. I I never really had NFL dreams for real, for real. Mm -hmm. Like I just like if, if I made it, it was gonna be like, alright, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> alright. But you know, I really wanted to play basketball and shit. I ain't grow past 
five eleven, six feet. Yeah. So you know, and I wasn't no, I ain't no damn point guard oh, by oh. any means. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was always the tallest nigga on the team, one of the taller, and I could always jump high. So they put me down low. Yeah. So I never really worked. I, I got a little ball handling skills, but I ain't like no Houdini out this bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Basic. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I ain't never had no in the bell dreams. But I do wish I would have got a, a better chance a more fair chance, I guess. At football. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Was, I wouldn't never. I, would, I only played football because I could. You know what I'm saying? That's the same reason I played it. I played it because I could and I, I baseball was my thing. Yeah. But I fucked up my shoulder. So And I ain't take care of the choke. You ain't you had to do your physical therapy and shit. Really? I, I did. And I should have, uh, really, I should have stopped playing, um, stopped playing football. Football to get, yeah. to get your arm right and do that shit year round. Cause you was that nigga at that baseball shit. I was, bro, and I hate that shit. Ooh, I hate that shit. You was that nigga. <laughs> but niggas knew, boy, you, when you hit that motherfucking ball, boy. God damn, boy, you used to, you, boy, you used to. Yeah. Let me go with it, boy. It's real. It's real. You was a real ass nigga out there on that diamond, bro. Outfield covering everything. Bro, you was like a hole like that. Bro. I, bro, sometimes I'd be like that with baseball too. Like, if I would have actually kept playing that shit, mm -hmm. I would. I, I was getting good, like, you know, because you remember I used to be scared of the ball. <laughs> so when I actually started swinging the ball towards the end of playing with you, mm -hmm. like and hitting the ball, like I, I don't know if you remember this, but I got hit and like. I'm Sean McKenzie, and that bitch almost went over the gate. <laughs> you said everything. I, I, you don't remember you, that shit? The bitch, the really bitch almost went over the gate. I really don't. Bro. He hit the yellow part, <laughs> and like, I got to hit off Jonathan, um, Sean McKenzie. Um, I was Jerry Sinclair was too wild. I, 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 I wasn't gonna stand in the paint with that. He was bro. I yeah, wasn't used to fling that. Yeah, bitch. I wasn't gonna stand in the paint with that nigga. It's only like, like four black yeah, people out yeah. there. What, I mean, shit. Me, you, mommy, and daddy. Shit. That yeah, was, that was it. <laughs> real talk. But the time we was out there, but by the time I had, like, when I came back, when Sean was out there, mm -hmm. it started. Yeah, it was some. Yeah, more black people out there. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't. But we was in white people. Like, say, uh, that park smelled like cigarettes and, and, and motherfucking uh, boiled peanuts. And yeah, hell, it's tobacco. Ocean Way. Yes, uh, but I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, uh, I enjoyed that shit while I played it. Yeah. No flex. I, I never really knowingly, you know, I, I'm oblivious. I, I was oblivious until shit, a few years ago, honestly. Just like a, a you know, just not, not paying and thinking the best of people all the time. And now I actually like watch people actions and shit. Yeah, and I, I mean, as kids, that's, that's what we do. That's just learning. Yeah, learning. Yeah, going through shit. Yeah. Because once you start going through shit, you know. Because, you know, growing up and shit, we was. I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna say, but we was good kids and shit. So, you know, teachers like this, coaches for the most part. But yeah. then once you get to life and that shit ain't like that all the time. Yeah. Now you start to watch people like, I don't know about this shit. I don't know about this nigga. So, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm big on that energy shit, boy. Yeah, gotta be. Gotta mm -hmm. be. Because if, if they ain't delivering the same, bro, you can't. Got to go. I got it. At this point in yeah. life, anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Got to reciprocate. Yeah, everything got to be for a purpose now. Got to be, dog. Uh, moving with a purpose, bro. Yeah. Especially, especially if you're trying to build, and especially if you got kids, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to show them the best ways to do things. Exactly. Do things differently than what we were taught. Yeah. Like, the excuse can't be, like, I wouldn't talk this shit no more. Yeah. It can't be because everything, like, the, you know, the information is so, like, Fast, you can get whatever you need yeah. off YouTube. Pretty, pretty much, uh, pay somebody a little bit of money. Yeah, hey, there's ways to get it. There's ways to get it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But yeah. like the, that can't be an excuse no more, dog. It's, it's podcasts out there teaching you shit. Kid teaching me like I t was telling you on the phone the other day. I IRAs and Roths and all that shit. I'm, <laughs> I'm learning. Like I'm sitting. I'm, I didn't had these meetings and sitting up and with these people talking to us about this shit. And the whole time I'm just sitting up there like, what the fuck is this lady talking about? Because mm. you were interested in it. Yeah. I you interested in it. But now I'm sitting up here and just listening. There. Yeah. Should I? Blah, blah? No. That. That. What day? Say like, no. <laughs> 
IRAs is, which <laughs> I, I still don't exactly like. I would have to go back and listen to the to yeah. him again, explain it again. But you know what I'm saying? I, I have a better understanding of the difference now, like between the two. I know one is just ain't gonna grow your money as fast as the other. Mm -hmm. That's what I know. So that's about. I got I got to look into it. I I, I got it. Yeah, some it's some something like that, but. He, it was on one of the past few episodes. I've been listening to that shit every day. Man. Yeah, I do too. Every day. So, um, but yeah, I don't know, though. 2021, and it's like about to be 10 years since I graduated fucking high school. It's, t it's ten, the 10th ten, the year since I graduated high school, nigga. Around this point, January of, uh, no, February, signing day. Holy shit, I had just signed my life away a couple days ago. <laughs> signed my life away. Yeah. Um this time this time ten years ago. Signed my life away to fucking UCF. Man. I just came. I just came to Huh? Man, I ain't uh, about a mo mobile um car watch. Bro, I think that that's the best like you can really make money off some mobile car washing. I know you can. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Even you in mobile get, anything now. Get you a bro. truck. Get you a nice little truck. Save up for that shit. That's what I would do. I would get a small, a small mobile, mobile, um, truck, mobile cleaning service for yeah. for cars. Charge stupid low prices. Like look at the competition and be like, boom, I'm a, I'm gonna undercut that by like a dollar. <laughs> Ain't no dollar, Nick. Fifty cent. You know what I'm saying? And people will pay. People will pay if you do good work. Yeah, you're right though, and have good service because yeah. it's all about good. Yeah, you're right. That's though. what people pay for. Service, people, and service. Right. Yeah. So that a mobile a, a moving company have like a, a your homeboys or something, you know, but somebody that's good with that shit, like like you know wrapping stuff up. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like a professional, like professional with that shit. Somebody that know how to mount TVs. Yeah. All that shit. Have that shit on board. That's bad. Mount their TVs in their house, so when they come in, oh my god, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so mobile moving, mobile, oh no, well mobile moving, moving company, mobile detailing, selling drugs. <laughs> I swear, damn. Uh, sometimes I wish I had the heart to sell drugs, but I'm like, bro, I can't be living like that. At all, bro. Uh, I can't be living like that, bro. I cannot be living. Looking over my shoulder. Where I'm by if, if if who I'm selling to it's to be scary. the potentially in my life in, in, in my freedom. Too scary. Yeah, I'm too way too scary for that. You know what? <laughs> I'll just take a chance at a nine to five, and and maybe potentially with a boss that is an asshole. But you know what? I'm, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'll be. Yeah. I'm not in jail. And you know what? You can be working your nine to five, working towards shit that you want to work to. So you, that, that ain't got to be your only job. It shouldn't be your only job. Because millionaires make, what, have seven streams of income on the average or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's why I was thinking all them businesses. I'm like, damn. Like, it ain't just about, well, I mean, it can't be about it. Stock market, too. You know, stocks. Stock market, I mean, that's a stream of income. Your, your uh, whatever, your IRA or whatever. Yeah. You know, Roth account. Different I think stuff. that's what you said. Real estate, trucking. Yeah. You can buy a vending machine and put a vending machine somewhere. I feel fun. like it's vending machines everywhere already, though. Yeah, like that's true. That's true. But you gotta go somewhere. I mean, but you know, it's, it's business. It's always expanding, bro. Yeah. People's always expanding. Yeah, yeah, that is true. I was thinking about getting because a vending machine license only cost a thousand dollars. But get that. That's what Sid was talking about, vending machine. But I mean, my thing is you got to make sure you're doing your research and make sure it's a high tracked area for people who eat that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. The, best, the best places, like the people at the truck stops, at the rest area. I already know. But they already got. I'm sure they probably ain't going to put another vendor in there. Hell no. Okay. Nigga, I put my own vending machine out there. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. I got me fucked up. <laughs> that shit. Fucked up. Oh, every night. All the hood snacks, the boosted, the boosted chips in there. <laughs> I swear to God, the masterpiece uh, chips. The thing called the little chews. Hell yeah, the, the yeah, <laughs> the chews. All the the hundred, the fifty for a dollar, whatever, hundred for a dollar. Hell yeah. Nah, nah. 
Yeah. Big ass pack. Hell, now nah, late. Hell yeah. But all that shit in the business machine. Back this back in the day, baby. What? Little champ. Little champ, bro. You used to be able to get four bags of chips for a dollar. Now you you can only get two for a dollar. That's crazy. And and it's one for fifty nine cent. What, bitch? <laughs> How does that make sense? <laughs> so you gonna make me buy two for a dollar? Uh, yeah, dog. You used to be able to get shit for. I used to be able to go to the store with five dollars. Come home with probably a two a two liter. A bag of sunflowers, a big bag of sunflower seeds, or a little, a little, it don't matter, and a bag of chips. Five dollars. That's crazy. Nah, but I, I would get the big bag of sunflower seeds, big bag of chips, right. and then like a two, maybe a two liter. Two? What the fuck you buying two liters? I used to buy two liters. Big <laughs> dude. That's what I got. A Sprite Remix. <laughs> Remix, that dog. used to be fun. That's probably remix. The red, the red cap. Yeah, they had more than one. Eh? They had the, the updated one, with, which I, I guess I don't know if they had more. I don't know. I thought they had more. Yeah. Well, what, what it was, rim, it's all in the mix. Uh, <laughs> that, that's Twix. <laughs> what? Twix is all in the mix. You're right. Cause it, yeah, it, yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> Damn. I feel dumb as hell now. But nah, that's probably your used to be five. So we used to buy that every, every, every peanut, every time. peanuts in the back, uh, a bag of peanuts in the Sprite remix at, at church. church. Every fucking Sunday. You'd be pimping. Yes, so be funny. munching before uh, dinner for real. Cause mm -hmm. niggas just be hungry. What, like, what? Like, I'm surviving off a bowl of cereal from. Eight, we used to have to go to Sunday school. Be to Sunday school by what, 9.30? 930. I, I ain't ate since 8 o'clock. <laughs> like, so now it's 12 o'clock. We getting out of church. 12, bro, we been in church for two and a half, three hours. Hungry. Hungry as hell. <laughs> Waiting on granddaddy to finish. Like, come on. I need to hear, yeah, 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 yeah. When I hear that, boy, I'm like, yeah! <laughs> we going home. We can go to Publix. We can get this chicken. chicken. Ooh. Yes, sir. <laughs> boy. Good. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. the, the, boy, that's them good memories, though, but we had some good, boy. Mm -hmm. my granddad house was a fucking spot. Auntie Clara house was a spot. Yes, yeah, sir. Died. Well, Auntie Clara had her patio back then. <laughs> mm -hmm. She used to have all the gatherings. Yeah, man. <laughs> yes, sir. It used to be. I remember, oh, you remember oh, going shit. over Mr. Chris' house, mm -hmm. um, getting in the pool? Ooh, yeah. Net <laughs> mad her. At all, <laughs> they were playing that. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> right, that's, that's how funny. I remember that shit. Yeah, it's crazy how I remember like just little, 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 just bits and pieces. Yeah, bits and pieces of life and shit. It's crazy how that shit worked, dog. Mm -hmm. hey, and you just start thinking, and you just think about shit that you ain't like. Hey, I, I didn't know I remembered. I remember that shit. Just start, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't know I, I, know I remembered that. that. Yeah, it's crazy <laughs> how the brain worked, bro. <laughs> it's crazy that's how funny. the brain worked. I swear. I think I be just like getting high and thinking about all that shit. Like, damn, like I really, re we really like, it wasn't sweet. Like we ain't grow up. It's crazy how, like, like I told you, the nigga was like, we was privileged. Nah, and, I don't, and, and, and people would, and even Lil Mike and Mike Cap, like, damn, y'all had all the video games. I mean, that's good. Daddy played video games too, though. But people like, basing off that, like, yeah, y'all was like, y'all was the, Privilege, and I'm like, what well, the hell? We were broke, just like everybody. Like, I guess the nigga based it off of us li living in a brick house. I don't know. I don't fucking know, but like, mm -hmm. I don't know. But mm -hmm. nah, we just grew up. We just my parents, damn, they was struggling just like everybody else's parents. But shit, yeah, it made shit happen. Yeah, they made shit happen for real. My mama, mama realized they didn't tell you. Daddy, Daddy, but them some, Daddy them some, used to come come home, bro. Up, get like four, four hours, hours of sleep, sleep bro. Get it, and, bro. That's, bro. I don't know how he did it, bro. Because I would be pulling my hair out, bro. 
Bruh, to. Dude, bruh, and then like the nigga would be laid up all weekend, didn't move off the couch. <laughs> but nigga work all, but this nigga would work all fucking week, bro. Come all home right. from one job, sleep. All right, going to work. Yeah. I remember every every time. All right, going to work. Mm -hmm. But that nigga boy, he made that shit happen. He made it happen because he had. To. He had to, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah he had to. Mm -hmm. He shit. He knew he wanted to put us in sports. How the fuck he was gonna have extra money, bills, and all that shit going to going to fucking. Yeah. Food lying with ten dollars and shit. <laughs> ah, mama, mama, yeah, you can do that. But shit, mama used to tell us about how broke we was. Uh, but we ain't seen none of that shit. Uh, we ain't seen none of that shit because we had video games and mm -hmm. we played sports and we had friends. Yeah, we yeah. Well, I said we was outside. We yeah, was yeah, we was outside most of the time. So shit, and then shit, we was able to go well, get at least two pair of shoes a year. Yeah, that's all we needed. Yeah, that's, 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 we that's, had what we needed. That's that's for damn sure. And that's one thing that mom and daddy instilled in us. You got what you need, need. You, you, you'll be all right. You'll be all right, for you know sure, for saying? sure. I know I can make it with the bare minimum because of shit. We, but, but now, you know, obviously you want better. So you want to be able to, you know, I don't know, though. I know. That's why, that's I why it's like. to travel. I want to be able Oh, yes, sir. Traveling is. I want a nice house. I ain't going to lie. I want a big ass house. I do. I ain't, not wrong, I ain't not wrong with that though. I um, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna travel mostly though. And I want my, I want my free time, bro. It's not about for me. It's not about not working because at the end of the day, even if you, you know, what you're I'm gonna saying, be bored not working. Exactly, you're gonna be bored not working. Spending money, but I want my my time. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? be time. able to work when I want to work and shit like that, and, mm -hmm. and yeah, not not slaving. To be able to make ends meet, I wanna have to make ends meet, catch up to me type shit. Like, bitch, catch up. <laughs> I'm already you paid off. I don't need to like. I'm out here living my life, just going to work, pocketing everything. Exactly. Yeah, that's what it's about, living different, bro. But you gotta, you gotta go through it for a little bit. Yeah, hell yeah. You got go through it to realize that damn, this ain't how I wanna live. For real. And then it's it's good like when you got people in your corner that's not not. Even people, I guess, in your corner, but at the same time, they want different for themselves too. So they encouraging you and motivating you, like, hey, listen to this, listen to this guy, like you. Hey, that's in your corner, bro. That's the definition. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, at, but at the same time, like, you can be in my corner, but not trying to better yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can be like, hey, hey, yeah, bro, I'm, that's, dope, that's dope that you're trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? I got you. But you in my corner and you going through this shit. Yeah, you trying to. Be different. That's what I meant, though. I got so everybody. I mean, shit. We everybody. I mean, we all have our certain social circles. I mean, you got this group of people that you do this with. You know what I'm saying? This group of people that you do this with. This group of people that you do this with. You know what I'm saying? And you know, certain shit you can talk about this person with. You can't talk about this group with. You yeah. Know what I'm saying. So I mean, should it be like that though? It shouldn't be, but it is because everybody's not at the same at that same level of life. I mean, I guess people would say, you know what I'm saying, level up your friends. But me, at the same time, I'm gonna kick it with who I've been kicking it with. For yeah. Me, who yeah. I, whatever I kick it with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I may bring something up from this group over here. You know what I'm saying? We may toss it around a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't gonna go as in depth as this group would. For sure. I, 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 I can see that. I can see that. So, I mean, yeah, you could. I mean, I mean, okay. I forgot the question. Nah, that it's, it's, I, it's okay. It's like I said, it's it can be like that. I understand it, but I don't know. I just I just want to hang around people that's like minded and shit like that. Yeah, I ain't that and, and but you right though. Like even even like your best friends, you can't go and talk to this best friend. Like you gonna have you got your circle, and your the people you hang around. You probably can't talk to this person about the same shit you can talk to this person about. Right, because it's right. like they see life different and shit like that. And they maybe they're not there yet. Yeah. True, and ain't 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 nothing wrong with that necessarily, no. but you know, eventually, you know, want to want to usher them and help them get there. But you know, I mean, wherever there is, you know what I'm saying. Whatever there there is, because <laughs> everybody has a different there. Yeah, exactly. So, nigga, what is? I, I get what we're saying, but that's funny how we just turned the there, there into a thing <laughs> like a verb. <laughs> I mean, now shit. Uh, Man, you miss most about our, our, our child. I don't know, bro. It would, I go out, bro. Hanging out with niggas, bro. Dog, bro. You, bro. We used to be up to like three o'clock in the morning, just playing, playing spades, gin rummy, tonk, 
Remember they, them boys taught us how to play all that shit? Them boys taught us how to play that shit, for real. And, I mean, you know, then Roy came and James and cheated us and whooped our ass and shit. But, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hanging out with the fella, bro. We used to be up to like 3 a.m., bro. Just outside, chilling, bro. Mm -hmm. Me, you, Will, Vic, <laughs> uh, Bull. And then when the boy, uh, when everybody was over there, oh, it was a motherfucking <laughs> party, boy. When everybody and yes, all man. the boys, boy, it was a party. Always. Always, bro, bro, we need to leave off the street. That was so dope. That was the dopest shit in the world to me. Then after they left, shit, Will, shit, yeah. Will was over our house all the goddamn yeah, all time. The time all the time. This, <laughs> bro, this nigga, bro, <laughs> this nigga Will. Out, this shit was like a sitcom, bro. It was like this nigga could just walk in our back door, like, that we and then we would be like, "Oh, what's up, Will?" He would just pop bro. up, like, pop up for dinner, bro. And shit. This, this nigga Will would just walk in the house, bro, and nobody would say it, like, "Oh, what's up, Will?" Like, that, "What's up, you hear?" Like, like Mo from uh, like, Smart Guy. Bro, Mo, Urkel, Urkel would just Roger would just Man. be. Roger would just be in the house, bro. That shit was amazing. That's what I'm saying, bro. That 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 was so dope to me, though.